and welcome to another dog walk. <laughs> Today we're up on an area called the Beacon. Um, you may have seen it in some of my other videos, but you may not have as well. Uh, today I have Maya with me and she's a, a doodle cross. We've got Bobby, he's a little spaniel. We've got little Milo, he's a long-haired chihuahua. We've got big Milo, but spelt differently. And he's um, a, a cockapoo. And we've got Charlie Brown and he's a King Charles Spaniel. And he's just behind us. Come in now. Here he comes. <laughs> so, yeah, the others are running ahead of me. It's a cold but fine day, so it's not raining as yet, and hopefully it won't rain. So, it'd be nice if it didn't. And I just tripped up. <laughs> it's hard this uh, vlogging and walking and walking dogs and making sure they're all with us. Uh, it's definitely a challenge, but uh, it's really quiet here, so you barely come across many people. Or if you do, you see them on a regular basis. So we all know each other anyway. So anyway, I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye. Check in again. Oh, my nose is running like crazy, <laughs> and these lot are enjoying life. Don't know if you can see them there. But they're all having lots and lots of fun. 
<laughs> Don't you just love it? Oh, big tongs hanging out and yeah, having lots of treats. Milo! Keep an eye on them. It's nice and open here so you can see. In case you can see, it's not open. You can see if uh, any other dog walkers are coming or any members of the public. So you can quickly get them on the lead if uh, if necessary. But I always shout ahead anyway, so it's lovely. I'm going to head this way now. <laughs> Come on in. At least it's not raining today, which is great. But I'm prepared anyway, just in case. And waterproofs on, another jacket under that. Quite a few layers. I can't believe summer's over already. <gasps> Shocking. Shocking. It's over way too fast. But to be fair, this summer we had quite a good one. It didn't rain too much. It was brill. We actually got a quality summer for once. And now I think from the sounds of it, we're going to have a very cold winter and hopefully a snowy Christmas, which would be lovely. Just watching these monkeys run around. <laughs> I don't know. The loonies. Anyway, I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye. Hi again, just coming to the end of the walk. So I thought I'd check back in. Oh God, it's so nice today. It's, it's nowhere near as cold as it was yesterday, which makes it a lot easier. Yeah. The, all the leaves are coming off the trees now. I do like this time of year. It's one of my favourite times of year. Obviously, summer's my absolute favourite, but I do like this time of year. I'm just going down steps, I best. Watch what I'm doing or I'm going to end up face planting. Just making sure I've got all the dogs with me. Jelly, come on, dude. He's always behind. He always does his own thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, Maya. Oh. shoot off. <laughs> they always come back though, that's great. Yeah, Jally. <laughs> Little Milo. <laughs> They're great. They get on so well. They have to do. And we've got little big Milo attached to me. Yeah, they get on so well. Um, they get trialed. Any new doggies uh, get brought on a trial with my two dogs. They're a really good litmus test as to whether they're going to get on with the group because my two get on with everybody. Um, so uh, yeah, they all get a trial before they come, before they start walking with me. 
Um, a lot of them that I've taken on have been young dogs, um, so they've uh, so they're a blank canvas as such, which makes it has its difficulties, but it has its advantages as well. Um, you know, so uh, they get used to everybody, and if they, especially if they're coming on regular walks or or on uh, regular daycare with me or boarding even. Um, so yeah, they all know each other really well. There's one or two that don't come as often or don't come as regularly, um, but they never seem to forget. They always seem to slot back in really well. And uh, there's, uh, I don't have any that I think, oh, I can't put him or her with that group or, or whatever. No, they all, they all do get on really well. They all have massive characters though. Some are quieter than others, as you can expect, just like people. Um, they all have the little quirks and little bits that you have to look out for or keep an eye on or whatever, but it makes it for an interesting job, that's for sure. Um, and a job that I absolutely adore. I've always worked with animals, predominantly horses, but dogs have always been part of that and I've always had dogs all my life and I've got two of my own now at the moment so George and Lula as you'll see in a lot of my videos I'm just in a part of the woods here that I love very autumnal looking yeah. oh, <laughs> anyway I'll close the uh, the video here and I'll probably put a little time lapse on the end for dropping off the last pooches I, uh, I enjoyed the last one I did of that it actually actually shows how many stops and stop Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I, just, I slipped on a tree root <laughs> one of these days I'm gonna definitely come a cropper and end up down a down a steep banking or on my face oh. <laughs> that frightened me oh it is Halloween after all but I frightened myself Anyway, I'll say bye for now and I'll see you next time. Hi again. I just thought I'd add a little bit. <laughs> Slipping on the treat root. Treat. Tree. Root. Put me off a little bit as to what I'm going to say at the end. But hold on, I'm just negotiating. Lots of mud. I just thought I'd wish you all a very happy Halloween. I hope you all... I'm a little bit out of breath, it's quite a steep hill this. <laughs> um, I hope you all have lots of treats, not too many tricks. I hope you all have a fantastic evening, wherever you may be. <laughs> and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.